Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Shotwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how you can generate your code automatically in Playwright. So Playwright comes with this feature called Code Gen, which is also known as Test Generator. So what exactly it does, it will record your steps and you can run as it is. Okay, you can also export the code into different languages and you can run as it is. Now you must be thinking what's new about it because Selenium ID also does the same thing and other also other tools also provide the same features, right? But I think Playwright has extended few more functionality and it's uh, actually captures the locators very smartly. And I don't think uh, you will find much issues with this record and playback tool. Okay, I will show you its features and you will be amazed. Apart from recording the steps, it also adds the assertions. Okay, so you don't have to add assertions separately on the fly while recording itself it will add few assertions from its side but in case if you want to add more assertions obviously you can get the code and you can change as it is okay so it will have few assertions but you can have multiple assertions i will show you how you can do that so i'm assuming that you have already everything installed pre-configured if not then i would recommend watch my playlist because in my playlist i have already covered how to download playwright how to install how to continue even we have written few tests here and they're working as expected yeah now in order to start code gen or test generator you will be writing first of all npx playwright and first type code gen nothing else just hit enter and you can see here i'm getting two windows right one is my chromium browser it's on my secondary monitor so let me drag and drop here and you will also see something called Chromium. This is actually our Playwright Inspector. This comes automatically the moment you write code gen. Now you can see it is by default in a recording mode. It means if I just do some activity right now, it's a completely blank page, right? So see, it's not showing anything. But if I click on the, I will say HTML page itself, it says locator body. Let's say if I go ahead and type google.com, so first thing that you will notice, it's already adding await page.go to google.com. You just pay attention here. The moment I, let's say, just put mouse over, it's showing me that Playwright is going to use get by role. That's a new locator has been added in Playwright in the latest feature. So it is taking a role call button and it's taking the name Google search. Feeling lucky it's again taking a get by role button and you can see all these things it is able to capture very smartly right i'm not going to show you on google.com i will show you some other applications so that you can read it easily but let's say in case if i click on let's say type something called mukesh just come on so you can see it is able to capture this right and it is able to perform the same thing I will show you with a different application, but let me show you a couple of features here. The moment you click on this target, okay, it means in which language or in which uh, tool you want to implement this. So by default, let's select test runner. So you can see it's importing playwright test and it's giving you the test. But let's say I want maybe in the standard library, which uses playwright as a module and use chromium.launch new context. This part we haven't touched. Okay. So in the upcoming lectures, we will cover the same. Now, if you click on, let's say I want in Java, you can see the complete Java code is ready. And same goes with PyTest. This is going to give you the code for PyTest, okay, which is for Python. And same goes with uh, C -sharp. Let's say I want an N unit. This is what exactly I'm getting. Now, I can click on this button called Copy to Clipboard. And the code is copied. I can use in my any favorite editor and we're good to go. Okay, very smart. So let me show you this. First of all, I'm going to close this. Notice the moment I close this, complete two windows, co uh, windows closed. One is the browser and one was the Playwright Inspector. Now, before we move ahead, I want to show you a couple of options which CodeGen provides. In case if you want to use any one of these options, you can directly mention in the CMD and you can get started. Now, how you can get this? Just type npx Playwright CodeGen space hyphen hyphen help hit enter and you will see a couple of examples here now this is really very interesting now it depends on your requirement 
you can select a respective option and you can continue i will show you a couple of them but as per your need you can add any option and continue so they have given few examples as you can see here right let me make it right here suppose if you want the code in python while starting a code gen you can mention target called python so if you see this target you will find target just a second you do is look yeah this one so when you don't provide the target by default it takes the playwright test and you will see the code in playwright test but in case let's say you want in python or maybe c sharp or even java you just need to mention hyphen hyphen target equal to java hyphen hyphen target equal to python now suppose you want to open a particular url you can mention the url now if you see hyphen b means which browser when you don't mention anything by default it picks up the chromium browser and it will start recording it's a chromium engine actually so it will start with chromium and it will continue but let's say you want to record in webkit firefox or even standard browsers that option is also available here so i will show you one by one now let's say you want to use the standard browsers you can see hyphen hyphen channel and you can mention chrome chrome beta uh, msh dev etc apart from that if you want to change the locale you can change the locale as well you can see hyphen hyphen lang and couple of other details and this is what i actually like which is called hyphen o which is output so what is happening here if let's say if i click on copy to clipboard i have to create a file again i have to paste here if you don't want to do that you can directly mention that open code gen with specific language use this url and once it is run dump the complete code into this directory you can do that so let me show you that so let me clear everything and let me clear so this is my code gen i'm going to use this particular application so that i can show you the login part okay now i will say hyphen o if you don't mention you just need to copy create a file i'm mentioning hyphen o because i don't want to do this manual step now it will ask me hyphen o means output directory where you want to dump your code I will say once it is done go to this uh, playwright okay by default we are in the same folder so I will say dot slash go to this test folder t e s t s and the file name let's say I want to give this file name is uh, code gen okay so I will say code gen dot spec dot js that's all and i will give you all this command uh, in the comment or the description of this video so you can copy paste and continue let me hit enter it started again yes so it started this application the orange hrm and let me also bring this playwright inspector so that you can see parallelly now notice one by one by default it's on i'm not going to change it in case if i want to stop i can do that but not required at this moment first of all i will click here and type admin not this here here admin can you see on the right hand side first it clicked then it is calling one method called fill okay you can see here first it clicked then you uh, is calling fill if you want to remove some additional steps which you think it's extra we can remove it now again i will go again i'm putting mouse over i'm getting get by place holder because for these uh, two elements we have placeholder as well so in playwright again with the latest version if i'm not wrong 1.28 all this get by label get by text get by placeholders already added so i'm going to enter the password call admin 123 then i'm going to click on login it's taking get by role and notice the moment page got navigated right it added one additional expect for me which is basically for assertion and it is checking that after navigation the page should have a title call this title okay if you want to give the partial one you can change it as of now i will keep it aside now let's say i want to continue here but let's say i want to click on this image so click on it 
and I can see this option right about support change password logout now let me click on logout and we're done can you see even after logout it again since the page is navigated so again it is trying to verify that after logout the URL should be this now if you want you can stop this or you can close this let's say I'm closing it and just notice right now already file is present the moment I click on it sorry the close it and here we go the complete test is ready I'm not changing anything I will run as it is but personally I think few steps are additional so let me remove it because as you can see first it is clicking then filling so even if I remove this click okay it's not going to impact same goes for password I'm going to fill password but before that playwright is trying to click I can remove that and now let me run this now as a human we can see this line number 14 right it has taken the span tag then it is checking this text okay this might change in future so in this case you can update the locator later on as of now I am going to save this and now let me run how do I run npx playwright test in which folder I have test folder right tsts which file code gen dot spec dot js I want to run in headed mode so I will say hyphen hyphen headed if you don't mention it will run in the headless mode you will get the result I want to run in headed mode and just execute just notice it did the enter username password and it was too quick because it clicked uh, on login the page got navigated it found the uh, profile picture logout and it was too quick so let me purposefully add page dot wait for timeout and let me give mm, 3000 or maybe 2000 is enough it means after this step it's going to wait for two seconds basically if you put mouse over on this it says wait for a given timeout in millisecond it means after this it will wait for two seconds then it will continue not required but since i have to uh, present a demo so i'm just adding so that you can see the navigations one small disclaimer in my previous videos i told you how to maximize the screen if you don't maximize you will be getting a standard viewport size in the last video actually i made a couple of changes in the configuration right so if i show you this file yeah we added the viewport width and height so that's the reason you are able to see full screen now let me save this let me save this as well and execute once again okay enter username password wait it for two seconds it clicked on it clicked on logged out uh, sorry clicked on logout and we are able to see the report so reports you will find here okay so if you just open this uh, open with live server this is my report so right now you can see the test is test okay obviously if you want to change it you can change you'll find a trace file you will find a screenshot and the video as well so if I show you the video yep now how to capture screenshots videos I have a video on this please check out that video as well now if I want to change it I can say this is my login test auto generated by playwright and if I run it I will get the report and it will get updated rest everything is up to you now apart from this let's say you want on a different browser so again I will show you so again click on help what else we can use we can use hyphen B or hyphen hyphen browser and I can use WebKit Firefox or any other browser and if I want to run on the branded browser so when I say branded browser right now it picked up the chromium right but let's say I want to run on the distributed channels like standard chrome Firefox I will be using hyphen hyphen channel and I will pass let's say chrome 
so I will go back okay uh, maybe I will clear everything first so that you can see properly just a second <laughs> clear so I'm just using a uh, upper arrow from the keyboard and I'm able to see my previous commands that I have executed so this was the last command right npx playwright code gen I want this application then hyphen o in this particular location I want to dump now let me change it to uh, branded actually I am running on a branded browser I will say hyphen hyphen channel channel equal to chrome and hit enter can you see this time it's not a chromium browser it's actually our chrome browser that we use and this is our playwright inspector as it is same thing I will quickly go ahead type admin admin123 click on login now click on this click on logout and let me close it yeah this is available now when it comes to execution here now I can execute in any browser right so it's up to you which browser you want to use and in case if you want to change any other options feel free to change all these options are available for you yeah so I hope you enjoyed this demo in case if you need any help please let me know now my personal takeaway on this uh, when it comes to you know quickly writing the scripts and uh, executing it's fine but if you have to write a dynamic test if you have to build a framework where you have to use page object model you have to take data from fixtures let's say JSON file and all in that case you need to write the code so this is fine I totally agree very good uh, test generator code gen but if you have to build a robust framework and which should sustain in the long run please start writing the code right because when it comes to generated code or writing the code manually by using some standard locators your own assertions obviously that will add more value yeah so please give a try and let me know if you face an issue in case this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel share with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care